I would like to demonstrate how easy it is to connect devices and device data into Salesforce One using Device Cloud and the Social Machine by Ethereos. This is something anyone can do for free without needing to purchase any hardware. Over here I have an iPhone running a device simulator that's provided for free. You'll find the link to the simulator in the same article providing the link to this video. Over here, I have an Android tablet running the Salesforce One application. Now the components that connect devices and device data into your Salesforce environment are Device Cloud and the Social Machine by Ethereos. Now these two pieces are critical in that they enable you to connect anywhere from hundreds to hundreds of thousands of devices into your enterprise, enabling you to do what you do best, enterprise application development. Device Cloud is the component that connects to devices anywhere in the world on any network topology. And it provides a nice, easy to use web service interface, allowing you to gain access to that device data. The Social Machine is a Salesforce native application available in the App Exchange that ties the device cloud data into your enterprise. And you can do this without writing a single line of code. With Device Cloud and the Social Machine, you can configure rules that will create chatter, open cases, send email, or you can write custom actions depending on what your business needs are. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate the linkage by activating the light sensor on the iPhone device simulator. Now I'm going to cover the camera, which will trigger an alarm indicating the light level is lower than expected. The alarm is triggered in device cloud and sent to Salesforce One by way of the social machine. If we look in the Salesforce One application, we see two things have happened. A chatter post regarding the light level low alarm has been created, and a case has been opened. In addition, the social machine has sent an email to my email account. We can do the same thing using other sensors on the iPhone app simulator. So we'll use the accelerometer, and so I've set an alarm on the y-axis indicating when the iPhone is turned upside down. So we'll activate the accelerometer, turn the phone upside down, and you'll see when the y-axis changes from a negative number to a positive number. This will trigger an alarm in device cloud and send it to Salesforce One by way of the social machine. And then just as with the light sensor, you'll see that a chatter post has been created, a case has been opened, and it has sent an email to my email account. That's all there is to it. No code required. Now you give it a try using some of the other sensors provided in the device simulator, following along in the instructions provided in the attached article. Thanks for watching.